حججك على عبادك وأمنائك في بلادك Hello kids, how are all of you out there? We plan to be together for some time for the segment Learn English. You know that English is an international language and you use it in your school for a lot of your subjects. But the problem is that we do not pronounce our words correctly. So I would like you to take extra trouble to learn the correct pronunciation. We will start from the very basics so that we learn the correct way of pronunciation from the alphabets. Let's begin. A for apple, not apple. B for banana. C for cop. D for dog. D is a problem with a lot of the pronunciation. The word D and T are pronounced very harshly. Don't pronounce it hard. Don't say D. It is just D. D for dog. E for egg. F for football. G for goat. H for hen. It's not H. It is H. But the pronunciation in the word becomes hen. I for ice cream, J for jeep, K for kangaroo, L for lion. This is another mistake that most people make. They say lion. No, lion is the wrong pronunciation. Lion is the correct pronunciation. M for melon. It's not melon, it is melin. N for nest. O for orange. Again, it's not orange, it is orange. P for peacock. Q for Qaid, R for rose, S for sofa, T for tomato, U for umbrella, V for van. Another point I would like to distinguish is U is when you make your mouth a circle. U, though we say umbrella, but the word pronounced is U. The difference in U and V is when you put your teeth on your lips for V. U and V. W. Again W makes your mouth into a circle because it is two U's. So it is watch, where, what, but for V, it is veil, it is veranda, and for W, it is watch. I will repeat the last three alphabets again so that there is no confusion. U for umbrella, V for van, W for watch, X. Now, actually, X is very difficult to pronounce. So, the word the comes instead of X. Whenever X is used, you use the word Z. X for xylophone. Y, again Y for yogurt. Z or Z as it is used in Americanism for zebra. So that was our alphabets today with a little difference. I hope I have not made it too complicated for you and you have understood the pronunciation and you will practice it afterwards. See you later in the next segment. Hafiz.